buried in the bottom of an old sewing box beneath needles, thread, and stamps. It was just kind of shoved in there with everything else. Paige has found an envelope. As I started looking at it, it was a love letter from the 1940s. The letter wasn't inside the envelope. Instead, Hess says the ink from the letter left a mark. I can't hardly write anymore without saying the same thing twice. I love you. Words from love letters on an envelope addressed to Miss Edna May Smith. From Private C.J. Skaggs. On the back, his full name, Charles J. Skaggs at Camp Robinson, postmarked September 3, 1941, Prescott, Arkansas. Darling, you made me the happiest man in the Army when you said you will become my wife. At the time this envelope was addressed, Skaggs' fiance lived here. I'm sure if she's still here, I'm sure she misses it. So I just want her to get it back. I think that their kids or their grandkids would... That's something they would really be able to treasure. Because if someone found a love letter like this, she'd want it too. This person held this in their hand at that exact moment that they had this emotion, and you can almost relive it with them. And Hess would like nothing more than to get this keepsake back into their hands. I think if I found Charles or Edna or even their kids, I think I'd just cry like a baby. Boy, so emotionally invested. All right, if anyone knows uh, how we can connect with Charles J. Skaggs' family, uh, maybe Edna Mae Smith and family, tweet us, HLN TV, uh, as well. And, you know, our affiliate on this one is KTHV, as we're trying to find out what happened here. You take a closer look at some of the clues. Charles writes, again, 1941, you heard it there. Darling, you made me the happiest man in the Army when you said you would become my wife. And then you look at this stamp, clearly a 10 cent stamp with the word special on it. We looked through some archives and couldn't find this stamp. Uh, it could have been mailed from overseas, stamps in the continental U.S. at that time, just three cents. Interesting facts as we look at this. Christy's Isn't with us it? as well. Again, so how can our viewers help out here? Yeah, well, because we want to solve this mystery, yeah. obviously. We want to get it back. So log on to our Facebook account or tweet us at HLN TV. Because remember, the smallest little details are often the most important ones, and they're the last pieces of that puzzle. KTHB, though, um, affiliate reporter Alyssa Raymond's joining us on the phone right now. Alyssa, thank you so much. Do you have any new information to share with us today? Well, as soon as the story aired, my email was flooded with people reaching out to me, sending me what they found on Ancestry.com. They sent me pictures of gravestones. And so there's a flood of information coming in, and we might have gotten an email from a potential family member, but we're not quite sure yet. But there was that. So, wait a minute. A family member may have... Yes contacted you what did they say yes they said that edna and charles are my mother and father wow did you say anything else they they said that that they live in cabin arkansas now um that they were wondering how they could get in touch so we uh, connected the person who found the letter with this person, and we're going to see if um, it turns out and do a match or anything. Okay, so if it does, I'm hoping your camera is going to be rolling because <laughs> I think everybody <laughs> wants to see I, that, right? I, absolutely. I told them to let me know when they meet because we'd like to be right there with them. So we're not wow. sure yet, but we're still waiting on pins and needles because it's such an exciting opportunity. Well, and the power of, you know, what. Uh, what people can do when they come together and, and the power of the internet too to find these. Alyssa, thank you so much. We appreciate it. But oh my God. Could be mystery solved. Not only that, but really, does it not emphasize again the power of the letter mm. and Ooh, how much we miss it? Yes. How much we miss it now. When was the last time you wrote a letter? Were, what while. decade? Yeah. <laughs> no, I, we, sent, we sent a lot of thank you notes, but other than that, okay. you know, a letter. It's been All right. a while. All right, how about you? Could be mystery you solved. You haven't it's written a love letter to your wife? Maybe I you say it every day. That. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Coming up as I quickly get out of that.